Hey guys, uh, my name is Mark Hill. This is Mark's on the Grill. Uh, as usual, we have way too much happening here. Uh, so I've kind of invited you in right as we uh, are getting started on what we're going to cook up for you tonight. And I think this one's going to be fun. We are going to do, oh yeah, stuffed burgers. I got a new toy, man. Watch this. All right, so first thing we're going to do is get this bacon flipped. Da -da -da. Just kind of making the last of the toppings here. There we go. And then once that's done, we can settle in and make a few things. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a, whoop, a <laughs> shoot across the grill. <laughs> as long as you commit, right? There you go. Oh, perfect. That's nice. I think I got what I need for this part. Let me go ahead and rub that onions through the bacon grease. Isn't that a good idea? I'll tell you, when you can uh, work with some stuff like this on a flat top. On in here, we did our whoop, whoop. Onions, nice, huh? <laughs> we got our skewers here. We got our stuff ready for our burgers. Uh, everything there is doing well. So let's go ahead and give a little bit of this bacon. We'll save some of it to top with, but some of it I want to, uh, ooh, I'm gonna grab that knife there. I'm gonna give it a rough chop. And let's stuff some burgers. Come on over here, man, this is cool. So guys, let's see how this works, okay? Um, one of the cool things about doing this stuff, uh, you know, this finding new products this way is, you know, there's always a learning curve. There's always those little tricks you learn. And it's a, it's a frustration point sometimes with new products because you got to go through your own food and your own hassle. I got to watch my uh, wife light up into fire here as she backs into the grill. Come on, man, be careful. <laughs> cool thing about this is you get to learn from what uh, I was going crazy with this afternoon with some of this stuff. We, no, nothing's perfect, man. There's, there's a couple of little pointers with these, but I got to tell you something. The end result is like, Holy cow. So let's do one and then I'll, uh, I'll pay more attention to that hot dog. So guys, here's what you do. First thing that I noticed, and here's a little tip I'm gonna give you. Uh-oh, there we go. Is you absolutely have to oil these things. What's that? Where'd I go? I'm dropping stuff. That's where I went. What, is this your first time working with me? <laughs> so every time you do one of these, you're really gonna have to oil or pan all of these parts really well because man do they like to stick all right so there we go <laughs> i'm sure that's good for me so i'm gonna go ahead and take that part put that part in there now in the instructions this was the other part that got me it says to you it goes uh, uh start with a base of about uh three ounces of of uh burger meat no 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 three ounces is just gonna make you so mad unless you're like some sort of like perfect guru sensei burger stuffer center person there's no way you get the coverage you need so uh, go a little bigger we want six ounces because that's our appetite all right so now uh, the way these things works is you get it's a two-step process you get this part here that you're going to go ahead and as centered as you can go oh, there we go go ahead and just press that down just like that now here's where we ran into trouble especially when we tried to do this with bison is now it comes out and it's like a big suction cup so you kind of have to Work around, oh, 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 we did well that time. All right, so here, see what happened? It made like the, the little divot there and like a ledge and something to fold over. That's pretty cool, I thought that was kind of neat. All right, I'm gonna flip my, uh, I'm gonna flip my hot dog before the hot dog gods get to me. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. Those are uh, uh, Joey Fatone fat burgers. Remember Joey Fatone in sync? All right, so uh, in the first one here, uh, what are we gonna do in the first one? Oh, let's do uh, what we chopped up here. I love, Bacon blue cheese burgers. So come on in here. We got some blue cheese, and you just fill that little cavity just like that. And then we're gonna take that bacon that we chopped and we're gonna give them one of those. You hungry yet? I bet you are. <laughs> hey, if you think of anything cool uh, uh, and family friendly that you'd like to see me stuff into this burger, uh, leave it in the comment section. I'd love to hear that. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna fold the sides in like that. Okay, look at, look at Daisy. Daisy is so excited about this whole process. So now you need a top. All right, so here's what I learned about doing the top. I learned that you want to take this patty paper. You can't spend better money than on patty paper if you're a burger person. So that's what you're going to do. Well, actually, you probably spend pretty good money on just a burger. So now what you're going to do is instead of just putting that ball on top and letting that thing try and do all the work, make the disc first. I got to tell you, man, I went through uh, about 10 minutes this afternoon of, of being kind of annoyed until I found that little trick. And then it's just like the pies that I claim to make, but don't. There we go. And then you're gonna take this part, all right? Pop it on like that. And then you just kind of flatten it out. And this makes, seriously, the prettiest, most perfect 
burgers I think I've ever seen. So there we go. And I'm going to make two more of these. I'm going to keep an eye on my hot dog. There we go. So yeah, like I said, in the comment section there, guys, uh, let us know if you're enjoying this. Let us know if uh, there's something you'd love to see. There we go. Where'd you go? Get over here. Oh, the hot dogs. Look at that. Come on. That's so perfect. All right, I'm going to put that one away. All right. We have, uh, we have six. We've already made three. Before I say we have six, we have to make and lose absolutely everybody. <laughs> you got the hot dogs? All right, so Trish is slowly, oh, bring them, bring them over there because that's where I was cutting stuff. There we go. Oh, she's really good. Look at that. She's got a camera in one hand. Uh, she's petting the dog in the other. I think she's fixing the car. And then she's working the camera. Women are amazing. <laughs> there we go. All right. There we are. Joey Fatone, thank you very much for the hot dogs, man. These are outstanding. Let's go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And while I'm here, I'm going to take a little bit of the garlic butter that's reserved for those buns that Trish is so happy about. Oh. Come on. I'm just a mean guy doing that. All right, come on over here. Now, remember, you got to oil these things again. Uh, I did that thing where you forget to oil it in between. Mm -mm. That was quite a mess. There we are. And whoop, try not to oil the phone. <laughs> All right, let's take the other one just like that. We can go a little bit quicker this time. Flatten it out a tiny bit. There we go. <laughs> oh, hey, coming up in just a couple of minutes. Oh, did I actually say that? Coming up in just a couple of minutes. Uh, we got a whole new toy that I can't wait to share with you, man. We're going to have so much fun with it. All right, summer's just beginning. If you are kind of the uh, king of your own grill, grill master around your house, uh, you want to learn, you want to kind of get better, get good at it, well, you know, always check us out here because we got access to just the coolest stuff out there, man. And we're always checking it out. We're always letting you know what we think of it. Oh, there we go. Come on. This is the part I don't like. Okay, so sometimes, all right, we don't have to redo that, right? No? We're good? Yes. All right. Who wants perfect? I don't want perfect. All right. So uh, we're going to make a bacon burger dog in this one. So for this one, we need that bacon and that garlic and the hot dogs that we just made. That's going to go with it. This is not your diet episode, all right? This is not your living well. This is, what's that? Is this, is this seriously keto? It can't be keto. What's that? <laughs> There's no carbs. All right. Hmm. All right. Uh, uh, cheese, uh, what about cheese? Oh, it's good. Oh, the cheese is good. Yes, that, well, that wasn't my question. <laughs> I, I have no idea how well this one's going to cook up. All right. Yeah, that's, actually, you know what? That's the coolest part uh, of, about doing this fun stuff at home. Uh, as compared to a few years ago when things like this were just things that you got when you went out for the evening, that was kind of your only choice. Now there's all the uh, different equipments, different stuff you can buy, little things like this, and you can really, you know, experiment at home and have a lot of fun. And it makes cooking exactly what it's supposed to be. And that's fun and inventive and experimental. Because I got to tell you, I don't care what your taste and flavor is, you can stuff this thing with anything. Let your imagine stuff, she says. Let, let your imagination run wild, I say. So let's go ahead. There we go. Seal that bad boy back up. Wow, this is cool. So yeah, listen, at the end of the day, guys, these burgers are, uh, good Lord, eight to nine ounces of the patty, and then you're talking whatever we put in it. So yeah, again, this is, uh, I'd share these if I were you. Okay, let's get this one out. Ooh. Another one. Oh my God, they're perfect every time. All right, let's get you in there. Uh -huh. Move you. All right, so now we're going to do our last one. This was our conundrum uh, uh, for today's show because believe it or not, it is National Pizza Day. I, I hope you're celebrating with somebody you love. <laughs> so um, we just did a, a big pizza episode not that long ago because it was National deep dish pizza day and i think if you just kind of stumbled onto it unless you were really paying attention around here which i'm not even that much i think you'd notice that we did a couple of pretty similar episodes right back to back and i didn't want to do that so instead what we're going to do is what is it a mashup we're going to go all glee on you we're going to have a mashup right <laughs> oh my god I, I just outed myself i like glee so <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do a bit of a, a mashup with our burger and the pizza day here. We're going to make a stuffed pizza burger. That's what we're going to do. All right. Here we go. This is our pizza, okay? So now the first thing I need to do is get a spoon. All right. We're going to grab our sauce. 
Da, da, da. This is so fun. All right. Actually, this is something kind of fun you can involve the kids with. And if our kids were here, we would be doing it. But they're on sleepovers and dates. Seriously, he's on a date. There we go. Da, da, da. Wow, that's fun. All new dating stuff. That's cool. You remember. All right. So now we're going to Oh, no, no, no. Cheese first. What am I, an animal? There we go. <laughs> cheese first. And then your favorite pepperoni. Now, I'm, I'm using the real stuff. Uh, uh, we actually use turkey pepperoni a lot. Probably could have used it this. It's a lot healthier for you. But at this point, if I start uh, giving you healthy options, you're just going to laugh and laugh and laugh. <laughs> There's the cheese on top. Perfect. All right. So let's go ahead. Give this a bit of a fold. This is going to hit the grill very, very soon. There's our last two. Oh, these balls, by the way, are about two ounces. So that's the fiddling that I did this afternoon, trying to find the best top and bottom sizes. All right, so the top size, again, six ounces. Now, we tried bison. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a second. Didn't work too well. Uh, this is 90-10. I imagine that 80-20 would probably work even better because I think the, uh, the stiffer this is, the more it wants to cooperate, and bison ain't stiff. All right, here we go. Oh, there's the topper. Isn't this cool? Man. Man, oh man, oh man, that is so fun. So let's get that on there like that. And we got one more of these to do, and then we can start cooking these bad boys. All right, get in there. So what I'm interested in seeing is how well this stuff's gonna stay inside. That's what I wanna see. Okay, so there we go. I think we got it. What's that? The dogs are waiting, the dogs are waiting for anything to hit the ground. <laughs> they can't even deal with it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out of my chill chest like that these are the ones that we made earlier get out of, get out of here you all right and then i'm going to put all this stuff back in the chill chest for a second once we get it all cooking all right so here's what we have to do because i have to try and remember what i've got where all right so let me bring this one over like that so these are cool i, I gotta tell you man, that's this is like one of the coolest things i've put together i can't believe i waited this long to play with the stuffed burgers you know they really are all right Take a little paper towel here. Risk life and limb. There we go. And sound effects included. All right, here we go. Salt, pepper, garlic. Do not over spice these. There's all kinds of spice in them. All right, you got all kinds of flavor in the middle. So you don't want to go nuts and ruin them. Salt, pepper, garlic is the safest spice you're ever going to use, you guys. Perfect on everything from eggs to what you're seeing here. There we go. Woo! Love it. All right. Da, da, da. So, okay, this one is cheddar. So I'm going to put the two cheese only up front. All right. There we go. And then, ooh, uh, there's two pizza ones. Okay. There's this one. And then one I forgot to pay attention to. Oh, Mark, you're a silly man. That's the burger dog. What's that? There's the pizza. All right. It's fine. All right. So there's the pizza like that. Here is the other pizza. There we go, with its slight yet gentle repair job. There we go. And then, bacon burger dog, love it. And what does that leave this one? Good Lord. Oh, this is the bacon uh, uh, um, uh, blue cheese one. And I know because it's like seven pounds, <laughs> right? Okay, isn't that nice? Uh, these griddles are fun, man. Mm. Fun, fun, fun. All right. Next is our side dish, I think. The range top combo. They've got so many new uh, uh, pieces of equipment out now. Every now and then I get the uh, names confused. So like I said, depending on where you buy these, they may or may not come with a fryer attachment. So if they do, congratulations, you own a fryer. If they don't, then my best suggestion to you, and this is going to be the same of any outdoor burner, is please, please, please grab yourself a nice heavy cast iron pan and a thermometer. All right, that's what you want to do. So we're going to give this a bit of a stir. And we are at, here we go. In the words of the immortal Amor Gulagasi, if you're going to fry, fry right. 350 degrees is minimum, you guys. Anything below that, and you're going to absorb too much oil. Nobody likes that. So I'm going to turn this up just a little so it keeps up with it. And carefully, and by carefully, I mean probably just drop them in and burn myself, put the fries in there. All right. <laughs> 